Hello and welcome to Lifestyles of the Not-So-Rich and Not-So-Famous. I'm going to take you on a tour of the bus. <laughs> I'm just messing around. No, I really am going to take you on a tour of the bus. So this tour bus right here used to be Diamond Rio's and Nitty Gritty Dirt Man's old tour bus. So this was the crew bus and there was a star coach that used to run with it. It actually has the same god-awful paint job as this one. But I'll take you through the entrance right up here. Well, of course, it's the door right there. There's not much light, but you got where you're going to steer and where you're going to drive. It's dark out. But up in here, this is your uh, front living area. So you've got a couch on this side. These windows, come, well, that one opens. This one just gives you some light. This is the thing I find the most interesting. This is a mirrored ceiling. So what do you think the cowboys were doing on here? Hmm? Hmm? I will let you know. Um, we've tested it. It works really well. If you're an adult and you're watching this, you should know why there's a mirror on the ceiling. Giggity. But <laughs> you've got a little tiny little kitchen set up. We're actually going to pull this entire thing out and it's going to go full open concept all the way through. So we'll be able to get rid of this cabinet right here and this TV. So we'll be able to spin the driver's seat around and actually get the last 9, 10 feet out of this. This thing is 45 foot long and we're losing about 8 feet of distance because it has this giant console and all this other crap. It does have one really cool thing. It has a thing called a cowboy cooler. This is where they used to keep all their beer. I keep water in there. But that is a cooler that you can just fill full of ice and it drains into the wheel well. I don't know. They got a lot of weird things on here. But you got your little tiny kitchen set up. We don't have any gas appliances because I don't really like gas or any of that shit. We got a microwave and a fridge. And it works. We're going to upgrade and change things. I want like a kitchen to like slide out from underneath so the wife can have a full on kitchen out there. And I know we plan on adding stuff into here to make her happy. So... Um, I'm not going to show you the bathroom, but that is the bathroom. Got some cool art on the door. Now here is where we enter the bunk area. These bunks can be set up for triples. So you can have three bunks on this side, three bunks on that side. There's one underneath on there. Now this area right here also used to be bunks. So at some point, the Cowboys or Rednecks or the Jimmy we got it from, um, he put a shower in here. And the shower for when we got the bus, literally, I didn't catch it when he said it, and I didn't notice. But he mentioned, oh yeah, when we're running down the highway, three guys can take quick showers. He didn't say we're parked or anything like that, so the water just used to go out underneath the bus. So when we were first showering in here, literally our shower water was just dumping on the ground. We had no idea. So, But yeah, that's a, that's a neat addition. It's a tiny little shower that... They added this crappy wood so you run into it in the hallway. That's another reason I want to get rid of it. It also has these silly pocket doors that come in the way and you run into them and everything like that. We're going to get rid of all of this section. This area right here also was another triple bunk. So you would have bank, bank, and bank. We've modified it so you got two taller bunks. You've got one here and another taller bunk here. So you get some more headroom, everything like that. The shitty part about these bunks if they're only six foot I'm six foot three so I have to sleep at an angle so sleeping at an angle is very uncomfortable and not the best but you get by with what you got to do and that's why we're going to be putting a bed back here so we're going to be putting a full-size queen back here but this is the other bunk but as you can see it's got these rails right here and you can actually put it up and then you have one here one middle makes them smaller makes them about a, that size so well actually the bottom would be the actual size but i got stuff crammed in there well not crammed in there i got it stacked in there and put away i need to stack it a little better but i was moving stuff to clean things but we're going to be putting a nice queen size bed back here i'm super excited about that redneck was over here earlier this slides out right here and there's actually a piece of wood that goes there we're going to add another piece and put a permanent bed in here get rid of all of this put some nice stuff in and then we'll have a little doggy step so you go boop doggy step and you can get right up on the bed so i am i am stoked about that the wife is 
halfway here, or actually I think she didn't quite make it halfway, but she made it a decent distance, and so she's on her way, and I'm, I can't sleep. It's four something in the morning. Um, the video I recorded I didn't like, so I re-recorded I want to give you guys a, a viewpoint of inside the bus. Plus, we cleaned the absolute crap out of this bus. And <laughs> I'm just happy it's clean. I'm glad I get to show you guys, because I'm embarrassed when it's a little bit dirty. And it wasn't that bad. It's just, I don't like when things aren't, like, pristine perfect. You know what I mean? So... But I, it's not pristine perfect. It works. It's clean enough. But I, I am, I'm very happy it's clean. I'm so happy she's coming. Oh, it's going to be awesome. But no, I really, I really do love this bus because we're going to be able to cruise it down the road. And instead of packing, I can literally just, you know, I'm taking everything I have with me. So if I'm taking everything I have with me, I never actually have to pack anything. So there is no packing of luggage. There is no packing of anything. It's all right here. It's all in my cabinet. It's all in my thing. So I don't have to pack luggage. I just roll in and get to work because my house is right here. So, and it's actually 45 feet front to back. So see that mirror is creepy as shit. Yeah, you know, there was a mirror in the back back here. So all these air conditioners in the ceiling, the, re the, the, the they, they added. Because this thing had a central AC system, and it had another system. It's got a lot of systems. But see, there used to be another mirror back here, and they just put in an air conditioner. Why? I don't know. That's just a weird choice. And because the central bus system, they could have actually just put a nice central AC system in, and it would have worked a thousand times better. But they didn't. They just opted to do weird shit. But there's Tim Gunn. He tells you to make it work. I love Tim Gunn. He's from Project Runway. If you've never seen it, doing fabric is just like doing steel, except for it's in fabric. That's why they say fabrication. A lot of their techniques are the same things we do. They call it ruching. We call it shrinking of metal. It's the same shit. But you guys are probably tired of hearing from me, and I should probably get this video uploaded and get it going so I can at least take a nap while she's driving. I don't even know. We got the rod for the bike too. It's out in the car. So we'll probably start on that. I don't know. A lot of things to do. Doggy wants to go to bed. That's for definite. He wants to go to sleep. So I wanted to try something different and record this all in one shot. Go front to back and just keep it really real with you guys. I love you all so much and <laughs> I appreciate you. I am so excited and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.